all y'all's fault. <laughs> you do it to yourselves. <laughs> you do. That's what really hurts. That's what really hurts. Uh, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, in case you can't tell, Gordon and I don't have any news prepared for you. Nope. So we're just kind of winging it, but that's okay. It's our first show back, and I'm glad we're doing it, and I'm happy. I had something I wanted to talk about. It was work-related. You shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, that was my assistant, everybody. She's trying to pipe up. Um, I had something work-related I wanted to discuss with you, and I'm, I'm going to have to rack my brain. I had it all set up for when you said you couldn't do the show, and I can't find that notebook now. And you're like, oh, I'm huh. camping. And I'm like, I've got the best show planned for, for us. And you're like, no. <laughs> no, I'm going away. That's cool, but no. <laughs> uh, so I'll tell you guys, just talking about work, and tell, you guys can email me, going to at gmail.com if you've had this happen to you. This is a straight-up quote. I went up to a customer. I said, hi, can I help you, sir? He said, no, I need someone who knows what he's talking about, and walked away. <laughs> amazing <laughs> i was like well it's i flattered that you recognize me thank you <laughs> that's so good <laughs> uh yeah just put just flat out no no shame no apology no nothing just very matter of fact <laughs> nope i need someone who knows what he's talking about good good <laughs> well done sir well played Fair wow ball. wow um, and then just today a guy came asking about a product. I won't bore you guys with it, but it was vacuum bags. You go, which bags are for my <coughs> vacuum? So I took him to the vacuum bags. I showed him which bags were for his vacuum. He took them from my hand, walked 10 feet over to another salesman and said, hey, can you tell me which bags are for my vacuum? <laughs> Did they like, give a different answer? No, of course not. There's only one answer, <laughs> and it was the one I gave. But apparently I've established myself as someone whose answers cannot be relied upon. <laughs> so that's Fucking a hell, feeling. Eh? <laughs> that feels very good when your customers who your job is dependent upon because sales are the only thing that matters at my job mm -hmm. uh, it's basically like a commission position without the commission because sales are all that matters nothing else matters <laughs> and my customers think I'm an idiot <laughs> <laughs> And that's great, I think, for the most part, because I, I act like one while I'm there. So. <laughs> kind of works out then. It does. And I've just now I've just played it right up. I'm like, good, you guys know me? Great. You're going <laughs> to think that about me. Just watch how idiotic I can be when I put my mind to it. <laughs> you think I'm dumb really now. Smart guy pretending <laughs> to be dumb? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's funny. <laughs> so I want to hear you guys' work stories. That was the inception of this podcast in its infancy. It was called, Is It Just Me? And it was just me bitching about work every day. And asking yeah. people to call in and bitch about their work. And nobody ever did. No. Not a single which was, Which was really frustrating because everybody fucking has, everybody has a work experience. I thought it was a great idea for a show. I thought people would really enjoy it. Yeah. And now there's these Facebook pages all over the place, these rant and rave pages, where you, that's exactly what you do. You just rant or rave. It's the same thing as my podcast would have been. But it worked into the Eric and Gord show, and that's cool. Um, I like it. I hope <clears> you guys <throat> do. I can't find those goddamn podcasts I was going to talk about, so I'm going to move on. As I was well, just scrolling through things, I found a list of um, Canada's funniest um, town names. Oh, boy. And they're not all that great. <laughs> We've got Big Wood. That's pretty funny. And Winterland. That's kind of whatever. I think that's Nova Scotia. Winterland, Nova Scotia. New Brunswick. It's, it sounds very pleasant. Uh, Beersville. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I don't know who, who named their town Beersville in Canada, but that's stereotypical. <laughs> Not a whole lot of thought in the into that one. Uh, and then Beaverton. Obviously, everyone makes fun of Beaverton. Mm -hmm. Moose Jaw is on the list. That's not funny. It's just weird. Yeah. Yeah, how does that? I've always wanted to know where the fuck that name came from. I believe it's the geography of the town. 
it's located at the jaw of a moose? No, it's shaped like the jaw <laughs> of a moose. <laughs> you know, like Manitoba is the Keystone State because it's shaped like a Keystone. No. Oh. Uh, and, you know, things are named after how they're shaped. That's why hmm. everyone wants to boot Italians. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's not true. Not everyone does. The only one Doesn't that's make really awesome, funny. obviously, is Dildo Saskatchewan. That's that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I thought that was going to be comedy gold for us in, in lieu of another Canadian cool thing. And no, it wasn't. It was kind of crap. So sorry about that. I have something Canadian for you. Please. This, I find, is fascinating. Okay. Bear with me here, okay? Oh, so, yeah, I wanted to talk about bears, too. Carry on. Okay. Um, Lake Superior, which is the... Such a pretentious um, name. Mm-hmm. Well, it is the largest freshwater lake in the world. I thought Lake Ontario was. No, Lake Superior is bigger by, by volume. Uh, Not by geographical size, but by volume. That makes sense. So Lake Superior has an island on yes. that island. So that island is also listed as the largest island in the world. What? On, on, it's listed as the largest island in the world inside of a lake. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, Very I'm not exciting. done. On that island. So the island itself has a lake inside the island. So what now is... this island has the largest lake inside of an island, which is inside the largest lake. That's pretty wild, actually. And then inside that island is a pond, which has a boulder, which when the pond floods becomes the largest island in the largest lake on the largest island in the largest lake on the largest island in the largest lake in the world. That's stupid. <laughs> It went from cool to stupid, just like that. It, went, it took a real fast nosedive. But it the the boulder in question is extremely difficult to find, and those that have found it, um, nobody has been able to take a picture of the boulder because it's only visible at a very like for a short period of time when that's actually there. So that's crazy. That's very cool. So, yeah. Random, right? So yeah, so it's the the largest island in the largest lake on the largest island in the largest lake on the largest island in the largest lake in the world. Well, let me let me relate that to uh, good old Lake Okanagan here, which is a giant hmm. lake. It's it's uh, I think it's a kilometer end to end. That's a big uh, there's a there's an island in Okanagan Lake, and it's called Rattlesnake Island. I don't believe there's any rattlesnakes there. Don't know why it's called that. <laughs> and a friend of mine, a distant, not an acquaintance of mine, his family owned it at one point. They owned Rattlesnake Island and they were going to build an amusement park on it. And then for whatever reason, the government just like took it back. They just, what do they call that? They abdicated the land or whatever? Yes. And just stole their island from them. Um, it's still sitting there vacant, like with a half finished amusement park on it. <laughs> but they went on they they started at like a theme hotel and there's like this guy there's like a statue kind of like the big boy burger statue and he just yeah. looks really angry and he's pointing and no one can figure it out it's castle haymor for those of you in the okanagan who know uh castle haymor and there's the picture of the guy he's just angry and, he, and if you look he's pointing at rattlesnake island and he's very very angry <laughs> and that statue is mad because they took the island away from the haymor family Huh. I was friends with Rob Haybar, and that's just funny. I wasn't friends. That... I barely knew the guy, but it's better if I say I was. <laughs> yeah, well, it makes the story interesting. <laughs> it is not the largest island, the largest lake, and the largest anything. <laughs> but it's a pretty funny story. They just they need this giant epic statue, just angry. And no one can figure out why it's angry. It's supposed to be like a happy theme hotel with just this miserable bastard standing out front. It's funny. Uh, hmm. We also have a big boulder in a lake, and it's very hard to get to. And it's, like, perfectly round. We call it the pebble. 
<laughs> oh, really? It's like it's been smoothed by the water over the years to the point where it's like perfectly round, like a almost looks fake. Really? Yeah, it's very very cool, and it's probably thirty feet, maybe twenty twenty feet, um, in diameter. But it's very huh. difficult to swim to because everyone likes to party there and throw their beer bottles at it and smash their bottles on it. So it's just broken glass everywhere in the water and not fun to swim in. Because <laughs> Kelowna people know how to treat their landmarks. Losers. Hmm, nah, funny. Um, huh. What else can we... I, 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 lost I, I got some. Podcasts to plug. Oh, there's some I can plug. Where's that other fucking okay. page? You go ahead and talk. I'm gonna find some podcasts to plug. Uh, this is just something I just found somewhat interesting. Um, the um, the the Swiss Alps. Um, the Swiss Alps did not exist during um, when dinosaurs were around. It was oh, created okay. after the extinction of the dinosaurs. That's weird. I thought that was very strange. I had no idea. So uh, at some point after uh, the so dinosaurs... Are you blaming see... the Alps for the extinction of the dinosaurs? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm blaming the dinosaurs for... Or I'm, I'm, I'm applauding the dinosaurs for the creation of the Alps. Yeah, okay, cool. I'm going to go with that. Very cool. Um, now, the, the Alps, the, the majority of the Alps are not in Switzerland, are they? That's correct. Um, it's spread... Uh, it's well, it's 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 all over. Um, it goes right through a whole bunch of fucking areas. Um, yeah, but the, the it's not like they call them the Swiss Alps, but really it'd be more accurate to be like the Austrian Alps or something like that. Yeah, I yeah, I think the, that's the right. The majority of them are not in Switzerland. Anyway, that's just a boring yeah. thing. <laughs> but yeah, so just a random thing. So. I guess the question now comes is because they the 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 guest estimation was of somewhere around sixty five million um, to two point six million years ago is when they were fully uh, have been uplifted. Two point um, six million. That's not that long ago, considering. Yeah, yeah, I think I was here. Well, here's the interesting, and I bet some of you didn't know. Only up until. Recently, like, I mean, within the last, I think, 10 years, if I'm correct, um, the Alps have officially stopped growing and they are actually technically shrinking. Huh. So they will never be as high as they are today. I have a few friends that could probably say that. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> um. That's really cool. I tectonic stuff and earth movement and stuff is it's weird. Um, yeah, it's very that's more interesting than space to me. Um, all this shit happening, like the North Pole is no longer in Canada. That's fucked. That's weird. Weird, right? It always has been. What the fuck. Um, it doesn't matter. It's like Santa still lives here. Don't worry, kids. <laughs> um. But that that kind of stuff is just fascinating to me, and I like that the Earth is still shifting and forming, and that volcanoes are making islands that weren't there before, and and yeah, the Alps are shrinking, and and the Rockies are growing, and I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I I don't follow it, but it's it's interesting when Gord brings stuff like this up. Yeah, I was quite fascinated by that one. I thought that I'm was gonna have to start thing. following it more. I'm gonna get devoted to like geology or something because the real thing i thought about this was they thought that the alps emerged um it's it's called during the alpine or orogeny or or, orogeny uh it's an event that began about 65 million years ago well 65 million years ago was when the dinosaurs were wiped out right so my question is just simply were the alps created were the dinosaurs wiped out by whatever happened by the and the creation of the Alps, like you know, it wiped all civilization, but it created the Alps. It would make sense. It kind of would, but I've never, I've never heard that put that, together that, before. That, that like, immediately was followed by an ice age, right? Yes, it was. That's so, right. Um, that would make sense. That would make absolute sense that the ice then would shift and make Alps. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, it's fucking weird. Um, there you go. Dinosaurs are lizards.